So that was Sleepy Time Down South in an arrangement by Doug Baker. And if you're interested in the tablature, please do open the video description. <clears throat> You'll find the link there below. And most people know this song, of course, through uh, trumpet player Louis Armstrong. And uh, <clears throat> it was a song he always played during his concerts and which he recorded many, many times. And Doug Baker taught this song in, in a very old uh, <clears throat> fingerstyle jazz course on cassette tapes and was published uh, by Stephen Grossman in the uh, early 80s or late 70s. And <clears throat> strangely enough, he uh, never recorded it and uh, it wasn't published in one of his books or uh, DVDs. So here it is. Although he, he does a version um, <clears throat> which is available on the CD Trees website, I'll put a link in the website in the video description. But it's um, well uh, typical Doug Baker. He goes to places where no one has 
gone before. So, we're in standard tuning. Here are my E's. And I'm not gonna call those chords, all those different uh, jazz chords, so <clears throat> with the tap in hand you can follow easily. So, well, we started with an F chord. And I'm picking fourth, third and first string. And then go to a minor. Move your uh, index to the first fret. Third string. Then a C. And the melodies. Sorry. Like that. And you see the fifth and the fourth string are pinched. Uh, at the same time. Do an A. Add the 7th fret, 3rd string. And then go down, keep your <coughs> pinky and 2nd finger on the 1st and the 3rd string. And bar on the 4th fret. So, A. And then you move and back to A. So that fourth measure, one more time. D7. Add the pinky, sorry, the third finger to the fifth fret. that. Um, <clears throat> that's measure six. Bar. Five, five. And to a G. And an F. Minor. And that's a C chord. And then we have a second ending. That's what in the tap. C, B7, but I did. Well, you can always Use the open strings just before you go to a chord. Well, that's what I do often. And slide. Indefinite. And then open. Here is the bridge. Starts at measure 11. Uh, sorry, 10. So it's... Uh, <clears throat> So we went from uh, the second ending, and that's when the tap starts. Open, second and seventh string, uh, sixth string, seventh fret, ninth fret, and slide up to the twelfth fret. C sharp there. Minor. Just move the second and the third finger one string down. Going to a bar to the seventh fret and nine eight. Like that. That's a E6. Bar the 6th fret, 3rd finger on the 7th fret, 
and the second finger also on the seventh fret. that third beat of the 13th measure is just one note but I play twice there so let's do that section one more time notice the ghost notes I'm going from one chord to another And then we have a variation, the solo. C chord, hammer on, triplet, triplet, F, F minor. string fourth fret, pull off, third fret, first fret, third string, and hammer on. It helps, of course the F chord barring is the one of the hardest chords on the guitar, to tilt your finger a little bit. So not flat like this, but tilt it and fret with the bony part more. That way you have more let's say, uh, fretting power. Open. Part 21, uh, second page. Could say uh, almost an A minor chord. Form a D7 and then free handing, second fret, fourth fret on the third and fourth string. Second fret, uh, the E there and the A. So those are all triplets. This is the 
nicest part of the whole arrangement. A lot of barring and a lot of movement. So we're starting with the bar on the third fret. Five, five on the first and the third string. <clears throat> first string, third fret, so. Third finger to the fifth fret, sixth fret, and move up the pinky from the fifth fret to the sixth fret. So measure 27 one more time. And then we keep the bar on the third fret, fourth fret, first string with the second finger, third finger, fifth fret, third string. finger to the 4th fret 6th string, pinky on the 6th fret 2nd string, and 3rd finger goes to the 3rd string 5th fret. So again that measure 28, arpeggio C, in the tap it's like this, but I play and then so I hit it twice. So the alternating bass goes like that in measure 29. Leave your second finger to the fourth string, second fret, and go to a A7, you could say. Sorry. And here is the Maman Supreme. So a D. Third. One, two, that's the first beat, second beat. Third beat. Fourth beat. in between. Then the next measure. D7. Let that second, uh, <clears throat> that A note really ring. Bar the first three strings, pinky on the third string, the third fret, second string, and, and move the, remove the pinky, and the second finger remains on the third string, second fret. Followed by the open A string, or hammer roll, and hammer roll, I do a slide. From the second to the third fret. Sorry. That F chord, that dreaded F chord. And then we're playing the bridge one more time. <clears throat> 
and go to the, the first verse for the last verse repeat dear old Southland and we're ending with C chord open open second fret third string D note there and Open, three, two, two, open, some kind of C chord. So that's it for Sleepy Dance, Time Dance South. Listen to uh, Louis Armstrong, uh, great version there. And the Boswell Sisters, with not uh, adapted lyrics. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs>